David Kovacs is my brother, so I, oh, I'm no, just, yeah. Actually, the VIP table is right up ahead by the podium. So oh, can you show me where that's at? <laughs> um, you're going to show, can you seat me? I got it. Okay. <laughs> David. <laughs> so proud of you. So proud of you. You look amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, look at this. How are you doing? Oh, good. Wow, How are you? Thank you. Gene! Gene! You remember Rob? Yes, how are you? Good to see you. City. How are things? It's so good to see you, brother. I want to stay close to you. Okay, you gotta let me know when you're doing like when you're doing something because I will be right there to support you. Because she's with her back, she's back working with um, her former modeling agency, okay. doing a, a whole music video. So in about right. six weeks or so, we'll have something. But, I want to be in touch with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you're the man. Yes, I will be right okay. there in the support. Let's talk more. I don't know where to say. I gotta sit Hi, with everyone. him. My name is I gotta... Fashion, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Hi. How are you? I'm Luke. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Um you know the the I apologize for and we're not full house, but I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so happy. <laughs> anyway, welcome everyone. This is why I hate being like excellent person. I don't have a seat. People in this room are invited. I don't even have a seat on my own. But I, I gotta, I'm not gonna leave my husband. The music that you're gonna listen to in the background, the Moscow winner. Okay, so we're going to make an announcement to just have people kind of move in and we'll be able to move some seats in for you guys if that's all right. Cool. Thank you. Let us begin one minute of gratitude, one minute of vision. Take in the present moment. Take in the present moment. Wherever you're seated right now, I know many of you are standing. Baby, I'll give a little more, little more. Months later, Jamil ended up quitting his gig as a bartender and moved in with his boyfriend Greg to Hoboken. Yeah, Alright, so Felicia, okay, so look, it's been what, like two months since we lived together? It seems like a year. And so I know it hasn't been easy. <laughs> and so I know I'm not an easy person, but oh, I'm no. I try I'm trying to accommodate myself to you. And you are very neat and clean and meticulous. Okay. So how did I meet you, Felicia? So literally, I was I was at my um, friend Randy's housewarming party in Jersey City. You were coming um, home from I was the coming party. home from that, right? So it was like four o'clock in the morning, and I was just like fucking horny. And as I was well. saying, like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Whatever." I was like, "I'm gonna do a drive by." I'm a, I got on Grinder. Mm -hmm. I was on it, and I was like, burr, 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 burr. and um, mm -hmm. long story short, like I just fucking came over Your here. Your picture came up, and I'm like, I yeah. I it not. was actually a good picture. And I, it yeah, was. I, I, I'll say and it was I, a good picture. I did not think you were going to be hooking up with me. <laughs> and and so, yeah, no, it was a and good picture. And then when you were coming out, I was like, oh, wow, like, this is cool. The quality, because at that time, I was so open and out there. I was like, I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck. I was like, I'm going to let bitches know who I am. I'm like, I'm ready to you know, mm -hmm. so whatever. I'm surprised was, you came over. And I was just like, you know what? This guy's cute. On the oh. pic in the picture, I was like, this guy's cute. When I met you in person, I said to myself, I was like, oh, Zaddy. And you were what you okay, were supposed okay. to be. After we did the did, the do, and all that good uh -huh. stuff. That was good. Um, right? I lingered, and I remember lingering, and I said You hung myself, out. I'm like, yeah, oh, no. I actually hung out, which and I never I thought, do. 
Oh, which no. I never do. That's how you know I like He's it in He's hanging around for a while. Even I though like I was going good. through depression of my life. Because at yeah, that time you I know was what, bartending. Though? What? I kept hitting you up and you never responded to me. Well, because I was still hung over. over. <laughs> it was like a week. No, I was hung it over. It was like a week. I was about to say, like, you know what? In those what days. Whatever. No, but in those days, my mind. What days? It was a year ago. Oh, I know. In those days, my mind could not function. <laughs> I was a hot mess. And it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. Um, but I really was going through a really dark period. And I was just because I was changing. Yeah, I never knew that. But I was changing. I was growing up. What were I you was, changing? I was just a man going from his 20s. His, his evolution. A man going from his 20s to his 30s. Uh, I'll have he, a nurse change your diaper. <laughs> well, Felicia, I don't need that yet. We gotta do that. We gotta do it. Are you gonna change my diaper? My I'll change your diaper. I'll wipe your ass. That's okay. No, I don't like that. But Felicia, if I have to, I will do it. No. Okay. At that point, you can just shoot me. No. Felicia, you scare me when you say that. I feel like you would do that to me. <laughs> Felicia, I believe you. You say it with such conviction. No, no, I'm only joking. No, I believe you. Not really. He'd be like, fool, fool the no. <laughs> I would hire somebody to do that. No. <laughs> Felicia, if I'm not here, you need to push buttons. I, I found out I can't get up. <laughs> Come home from work now. Mm-hmm. And I'll be laying on the floor. And then you send me up to Shady Pines. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, I would never send you away. My family doesn't believe in that. They taught us that you have to take care of your family until they die. Right? right? That's the Puerto Rican thing. That's a Puerto Rican thing. You take care My of your family, family until they die. Me Even off if Shady you have Pines. to wipe their ass. Jamaicans do that. Yeah. Right? yeah. And the white people, Jamaicans. they ship me off to Shady Pines. We, we well, my take family care wanted to ship my mother off to Shady Pines. Even if we have to, like, meet at the worst, at the very least of the worst, we hire a nurse. That's why old people's homes exist today, because the white people. I will never send you to an old folks home. I remember asking you. I was like, Felicia, you look too good for you to be touched for 55. Oh, no. This face has not been touched. I said, have you had that surgery? No. He said, no. And I, I looked him real good in the in the face. And I know I've been with you a lo- long enough to know that you haven't gotten any work done. Thank you. Because now you would have had injection marks. <laughs> it was all natural. Oh, yeah. I my, my Gucci. Oh, cold? Huh? Cold? You know what? They were cold. They aren't cold anymore. Come on, Thomas. You guys should stand there. It's better luck than anything. Yeah, because you know, all you're going to see is my teeth. Because you know, I'm really dark. Too much. Thank you, sweetie. No worries. They're probably looking at out. Huh? I'm going to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, he looks like he's about to explode. You know? His What's tongue. been going on? Strongest weapon in the town. Right. Do you remember that? What's your strongest you weapon? No, I did not tell him about it. So no. we were teasing Thomas um, in the car. So she was just, she asked, what is your strongest weapon? You know, we we're talking about serious, you know, something serious. And she, he's like, so... You know, you're 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 in law enforcement and things of that nature. What is your strongest weapon? He said his tongue. <laughs> but he was serious. Like, we cracked I on think, him I the entire your night. Is your, is your strongest weapon? He was like so dead on serious. Uh, we're like, so Thomas, some guy comes up to you with a gun and you're gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> give him a, like a raspberry or something. Where? He's like, oh no, God. I'm saying like your tongue has in words. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, wait, he's filming our conversation. <laughs> it's my, it's a reality, no, real, it's my so reality said, show. I told, I invited Aurora, and I said, invite everybody, because the event, my my brother David is hosting the event. He's the one that spoke, David Kovacs. Oh, yeah. So, like, Amara told Micah and August the same thing. She's like, wear a long dress. And I'm like, girl, you gotta, like, look at the event and, like, think for yourself. Yeah, they, a long like, dress. She told me wear a long dress and she wears a gown. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm like, it's it's cocktail attire, you know? Just, yeah. you know? Okay. Oh, oh, are you a model? Huh? Are you a model? Am I a model? Oh, am I a model? 
model. No. She asked if I'm model. No, I'm not a model. Not. I'm in fashion now. Oh, uh, you're in fashion now. That, 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 he should be a model. This is my, this is my fiance. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He should be, you. be he should be a, a model. Right? No. This is, I'll tell you later. It's called Club Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Say one thing. What's the strongest weapon? Your tongue? I think your tongue is your strongest weapon. You're not gonna eat any food. You're so serious about it. I styled, let me tell you how good I am. I styled David today. I styled Thomas. And I got some BS. I told him about the suit, I told him about his shirt, I told him about his tie, I told him about his shoes. Come on now. You know who I dress you, you know who I dressed today? Sandra Bookman from ABC News. You know Sandra Bookman? And she's gonna love you too. I feel bad. I don't wanna conform to everybody else's stick. But that's not how you wear them. We're gonna suit with one button. I am Luke Destin. Right. I'm a trendsetter. I am I created fashion. I came up with the name fashion. I connected the F to the A, to the S, to the I, to the O, to the N. I said he created fashion. I created. He's convincing himself to feel okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. She ain't playing. She's like, we gonna eat today. <laughs> Which I ain't joking. Thank you so much. That's nice. They got nice, fine china. Totally Don't be wasting my time. Amazing. And it's porcelain. Yeah, we got like a mob of like four Asian dudes, so you know they're going to eat a lot. They might clear that whole tray. Uh, oh, well, they have extra. Wait, you know, do they? Class is originally from China. <laughs> is, is it really? That is really dope to hear. Tell me some more. So I know. Oriental. <laughs> Tell me some more Oriental. What, what college a uh... day? Jeez. Yeah. God. <laughs> Oh, what no. do you think I am? <laughs> the Encarta? What is it called? The, uh, what's that? That stuff you see, the encyclopedia, Encarta? Remember back, back in elementary Encarta, school? Yes, yes. When our teachers still used to say, you may go on the World Wide yeah. Web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They finally found Luke a seat. Even though the table was kinda in the back. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't too happy about that. He's just, don't mind the camera, he's just... For my show. For my show, yeah. Um. Personal paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> no. Something like that for a television show. How are you affiliated affiliated with? Uh, how are you affiliated with the, um, with you and? Well, basically, just met uh, the Maria a few years ago. And, you know, what? Met these people. Oh. oh. I knew I was gay. I knew I was a little bit flamboyant and all that stuff. But I said, "Fuck that shit." I said, "I'm going to college." Because I need a way out of this fucking town. And nothing wrong with Camden because it made me who I am. But I said, there's really no life for me here as a gay man. Exactly. Because I didn't see myself in that town. I didn't see anybody like me. Right? Just like you have to get out of Long Island, Connecticut, and where you were from. But the fact that you were there to like even like, um, you know, be there for me and acknowledge the fact that I was going through something. But you couldn't really understand it because... Guess what, you you surpassed that a long time ago. You're 20 years past me, right? You're 21 years past me. Um, and so even though I've asked you, I said, can't you understand what, I'm, what, I've, what I've gone through or what I'm going through? And you said, well, yeah, but not really, because guess what, you're not there anymore. And I understand Or I that. didn't go through what you went through. Or you never really needed to go through no. what I went through, because guess what, you exactly. have to moving on. Because yeah. you come from a different generation. You come from a generation that you had to like mask everything. Well, I come yeah. from a generation where I had that in between. That's what I call my generation. I have an in between generation. My generation is the generation where we had everybody dying in the 90s. We knew about AIDS. We knew about HIV. But we also have like this gay era of everybody just being like, you know what? I'm gonna yeah, be gay and proud. Yeah, but you didn't go through that. 
I have friends. Well, I know. No, but I know about HIV and I know about the stigma. And the stigma is really horrible. And it's and guess what? And we won't go there. But I know that a lot of people, or a lot of my friends who got HIV, guess what? It was just like, oh, she got the kitty. The 15-year-olds will have it a little bit easier. They, you had it a lot easier. Of course. It was taboo to be gay. When of I was course. Like, yeah. You were in a time where everybody was dying. My family was lighting candles. Yeah. I had friends die. No, yeah. I had people that I was with that died. It was scary. <sighs> Thinking, okay, is this going to come to me? I had best friends die. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was not cool to be gay. Uh -huh. I'm sure my family was in church praying, lighting candles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but I think the best thing for me was I'm still here. I had a really good job. Mm -hmm. I went and got my master's. And I think when they saw that, I think it was baffling them because I was not meant to be a success story. You know, everybody's generation is different and you have, everything's relative. And I never understood that term, relative. And I was just like, what the fuck does that mean, bitch? It's a bit like, but it's relative. And I'm like, well, now I understand it. Everything's relative to when you went through it and your experience and, and not, to, not to degrade anything you went through. Because guess what? I acknowledge the fact that everything you went through was harder. We're an unconventional couple. You came back that second time. We had a I good time. I came back that second time, yeah. And we had a good time. And we had a good time. And I said, I can see myself with this guy because it's easy energy. And that's, that's, for me, was important. For me... And then you're the one that recommended that we go on vacation. Well, yeah. And we went on vacation like, after a month. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I don't even know this boy. And we're going on vacation. Felicia, I could have been crazy. I know. Mm -hmm. You know, I had just known you for, what, like two months? And I had gone to Washington, D.C. for you work. You went to Washington, D.C. And I fucking got fucking plastered drunk, and I lost my mind. I mm -hmm. lost my mind. And I didn't want my coworkers to necessarily see that I was, like, so into this man, but I was so into you. But so there was a different part. No, but I was so into you, and you, you have to acknowledge that. Do you acknowledge that? But... I was so mm -hmm. into you that I didn't want people to know how much but into you that was because I, I all, felt like I was selling but out. But you went away, and I didn't know who you were sharing a room with. I had my own bed. But I remember calling you like, shh, I can't talk. And I'm like, what's so fucking private? Because I was there with work. And Whatever. I didn't want people to think that I was being like too like, oh. He's and then the you got really fucked up. Uh-huh. And then I was trying to reach out to you. And see that you were okay. And you're like, can I promise you that there was nothing going on between and me and my like, coworker? And you're like, <laughs> bye, Felicia. So, and I was like, what do you mean, bye, at Felicia? Whatever time you call and me, you're like, I don't remember. Bye, Felicia. I'm like, oh no, he's not. You look like you could have came from me, but you didn't come from me, which I appreciate because it was still initially in the beginning of our of our of our relationship. And I think that if you would have came for me, I would have I would have been taken aback and been like, oh no. He's coming for me the same way other men have come for me, which would have turned me off because I was coming from a dark place. You get it? And you gave me respect. You put me in my sweet. place. You put me in my yeah. place, but you I gave me respect. Clear you said, I'm, that this I'm upset not cool. at you. I'm disappointed in you. Exactly. But I still respect you. And you exactly. spoke to me the way you needed to speak to me. And that's the And then going no. forward, I used to say, bye, Felicia. And then we started calling each other Felicia. Yes. And you go, and it goes to show that in a relationship, you can never give up. Because I'm the hot mess. But I one. saw, I, kn I knew that, that was not the real you. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. I'm like... He's such a sweet guy, and then he's doing bad Felicia. I'm like, something doesn't happen. Well, Felicia, when people drink, their chemicals get altered. You get real cray cray. No, I do. You I get admit it. Real cray cray. You get like, eh. I admit it. We're all going out to the club. Do you know there was like, you know there was an Asian dude in the Chinese table sitting next to us? Kept, kept partying. He even partied. He, I don't even know who it was, but he even partied during the meditation time. Are you yeah. Wait, I thought I heard that. You heard that, huh? Yes. He ripped it big. He <laughs> and there was only guys, so I know it's a he. Oh my god. And then he ripped one again. And I'm like, dude, seriously. Well, he had flagellation. Exactly. So what brings you guys here? How do you know Jan David Kovacs um, like my, is my brother. That's him right there. Yeah. And uh, who's the head of Symbolic IO. And uh, also head of one of the heads of technology for the United Nations. Do so you guys work with him or are friends with him? Or just He's my brother, him. literally, brother. like my brother. Yeah. You know, since. Brother from another mother? Right. I'm the black sheep of the family, literally. <laughs> I just stood out in the sun too long. He's head of technology for the United Nations. I didn't realize that, that was like a position. Mm -hmm. um, what I do is I help uh, multicultural women get promoted. That's like what I do in the world. That's awesome. And, uh, 
so I actually am going to propose to him that we do some sort of like virtual reality something oh, to help I would simulate love like empathy across um, diverse peoples or some something that we could do. I, and I don't know, I'll, I'd love your um, creative input on this. Like, Absolutely. What could we do? Through technology that would help multicultural women to, I don't know, I mean, sort of, you know, practice being leaders or, Absolutely. Um, yeah. you know, undue bias yeah. or, mm-hmm. um, you know, deconstruct bias perceptions of them or, like, I think it would be amazing if we had some sort of an app where you could, like, I could understand what it was like to be in your experience. Ooh. Like, like, em- like, like rapid empathy building, but just like in a little virtual reality game or something. That like, is you know, amazing. Five minutes in a meeting in your shoes. Wow. You, know, you, you practice what it's, you see what it's like being a white guy, I yeah. see what it's like being a black girl, you right, know, whatever, right. just, like, yeah. I just think that'd be friggin' killer. That would, wouldn't it? Yeah. To even move that forward and, 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 and blow it up even bigger is to um, actually see what it's like to be in a CEO's shoes. Or see what it's like to be in a doctor's shoes, or a nurse, or or secretary yeah, of state, or president, you or app, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that that'd be pretty pretty cool. You know, I think that's a brilliant idea, and it actually gives people um, the practice to be leaders. Yeah. Um, know what it's like to be in an operating room, and you can see your hands. And oh, I think that's brilliant. That will take technology, and that that's that's a bill a multi billion dollar idea. So what, what, what do you guys do? Or what's your I'm in the fashion like, industry. Okay. I'm a no. um, fashion director for Saks and Lord and Taylor Stores. Remember Saks and Lord and Taylor? Yeah. You're, you're the fashion director for Saks and who else? And Lord and Taylor Stores. And Lord and Taylor So what does the fashion director do? What do you do? So there's the, C, there's the CEO. Yeah. Then there's the president. Yeah. And then there's like the secretary of state. I would be considered secretary of state. So, but so you <laughs> like direct all the buyers. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So you as well as personal shop, trends. as well as style, and I do it all. Okay. Yeah. I, I dress. Like I just dress. Signal, signal. I just dressed Sandra Bookman this uh, this afternoon. Okay. You know Sandra Bookman from ABC Seven. Yes. The news. Yeah. Single. I'm like I need like I need a refresh, like a major, you know, major. Refresh. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, some fresca in the panties kind of look. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, he loves my. Just he loves my craziness. Yeah. Don't you? You got jokes you guys. You got jokes. Yeah. I can be crazy sometimes. Yeah. I, I get all I wrong. get all up in my head sometimes. Yeah. We all do. And I drive him nuts. And he gets crazy at times too, you know. But isn't that what love is? Like, Especially after a few cocktails, yeah. then he's like tells me over and over how much he's, he loves me. Oh. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so oh, much. Oh, and you get tired of hearing that? No, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And then we go home and cuddle passionately. Die. This one, I'll be like, you know what? Get out my face. <laughs> this one, I will suck your dick. <laughs> Why does she look older here? She was 18 years old. She was 18 fucking years old. <laughs> she looks better now than she ever looked in her life. <laughs> I, and I'm not being shady. It's just a fact of life. <laughs> you know what? She was the original Janet. <laughs> That's the life. That's the life, Felicia. Do it for the vibe. Damn. Oh, yeah. Bad by your versus cops, baby. Rather than die, lose my heart, baby. That's you. If I get shackled, I'ma break them loose. Man, I swear that's what I do for you. Because you're always true for you. My ride, 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 da, da. There's so much shit I love about you. You fight, fight, you so fight. And I ain't never gonna put you out. There's so much spark, my nigga Zeus is trying to take us out.